Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe here in Tokyo, Japan. I have a special guest with us today. Cute little Kayla. My wonderful daughter, she's here with us today. Uh, taking care of her by myself, the wife is out a bit, so just me and the little baby girl. All right? But we're not going to talk so much about that. What we're going to talk about is one of the major issues going on in Asia right now, which is of course America gearing up to invade and attack the DPRK. Now, insanity is, for lack of a better word, the best way to describe this latest action by the U.S. imperialist. You see, there's nothing good about trying to do this. All it's going to end up is pain and suffering for countless millions of people. Now, on top of that, it could easily spark a world war. You don't understand, there's many players at hand here when you talk about trying to attack the DPRK. You have, of course, the DPRK. You have South Korea, you have China, Japan, Russia, and several other countries. You could be sucked right into it instantly through treaties, uh, financial, economic obligations. Everything gets thrown into chaos. It's real, real, real bad, 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 bad idea. But of course, you know, Trump and the U.S. imperialists, <coughs> these capitalists, they don't care about that. And what they care about is domination and power. And it's always been about domination and power when it comes to America dealing with the DPRK. Because the DPRK is a sovereign country whether people like it or not. And DPRK consistently over its history has resisted the idea of one country dominating the entire damn planet. Imperialism. And not once the DPRK ever said, we're going to go after other countries. We're going to attack other countries. But they have said, if you attack us, we will fight you fiercely. And that's the real worrisome part about it. You see, unlike a lot of other countries in America that has attacked and bombed, DPRK people and the military and the government is not going to roll over. It's not going to be one of these shock and awe things. It's going to suck in other countries. It's going to be a long, protracted war that America will not be able to win. No matter how grandiose or statements they make that they could and you have to also understand this is exactly why the DPRK develops nuclear technology this is exactly why and also that's the final reason why you don't want to attack or invade the DPRK because they have nuclear weapons and they will use them if they have to to defend their country you want to Spark nuclear war, Trump? You dirty, slimy capitalist? Go ahead and do this. That's what you're, you're, you're playing with. You're playing with the idea of nuclear war and world war. Which is really, really stupid. But I want to hear your thoughts on this. I just thought, I thought a couple of thoughts in my own head. Some ideas and some general feeling about it right now. But I want to hear what you guys think about this. In the comment box below, please comment. Share the video around and get some discussion going. Until next time, this is me and little Kayla in Tokyo. Check it out.